What's up, guys? In today's video, I got a little bit of a theory video for you guys, a little bit of a possible news video for you guys that I want to share. Now, Warzone 2 came out and everybody agreed it was the biggest piece of dog. It was worse in literally every single way compared to Warzone 1. As you can probably tell, I don't really post Warzone content on my channel anymore unless it's DMZ related content because it just doesn't really do that well and I don't have the best time playing the game. I mean, I do, but I just don't feel like it does well on YouTube anymore. And that's because of the absolute failure of Warzone 2. People are just kind of done with the game. Now, there was one amazing thing about Warzone 2 and that was DMZ, Activision's brand new extraction shooter mode. Now, most Warzone sweats hate DMZ because of the slow pace. Don't get me wrong, I like dropping high kill games in Battle Royale and Resurgence, but there's something special about slowing it down and being more strategic, AKA sweating less and just kind of playing the game for fun. I like both play styles, to be honest. Most people don't, most sweats either like to sweat or most tactical shooter players just like to be tactical. I like to do both, but that's just me. As the Warzone 2 seasons went on, DMZ got better and better. And for me personally, it was the superior game mode in Warzone. The gunfights were way more intense in DMZ because you have a lot more on the line and each match was completely un predictable. DMZ offered and still offers way more of a sandbox compared to Battle Royale or Resurgence. There's also a lot more to do in the game, like missions, defeating bosses, etc. Now, even though the movement was absolutely hated in Warzone 2 in Battle Royale and Resurgence, because it was, it's just not good for a Battle Royale, the bad movement actually complemented DMZ. It really is a more tactical shooter compared to the regular Warzone that we have today. But don't get me wrong, I love the slide canceling and the crazy movement in Warzone, but for DMZ, the crappy movement actually worked well, surprisingly. Now, why am I saying all this, guys? Why am I making this video? Well, I strongly believe that DMZ will return with the Black Ops 6 integration into Warzone. Now, yes, you can still play DMZ. I still play DMZ all the time with my brother and our buddy, but it's not getting any updates, getting no love. And as of right now, DMZ is just kind of there. You know what I mean? But I truly believe they're going to start updating DMZ once again. Now, why do I think that? There's three main reasons why I think DMZ will return with a bang. Reason number one, a very popular Escape from Tarkov and an extraction shooter streamer, Pestily, received a teaser letter from Treyarch, the creators of Black Ops 6. Jeez, bro. Who's this from? I wonder what this is. To Pestily. The truth lies. Username. Redact. Password redacted. This is just the beginning. Now, why in the hell would he receive a teaser letter? He doesn't even play Call of Duty, guys. The dude doesn't play COD. He plays extraction shooters. That's it. There's only one reason he would receive that letter. Only one. When the Black Ops 6 Warzone integration happens, DMZ beta, because right now it's in a beta, it's always been in a quote unquote beta, will officially turn into Warzone DMZ. It will finally be out of its beta. It'll receive all the new movement changes, the Omni movement, the slide canceling. We'll probably get the new Warzone map. That'll have the new DMZ. I wonder what's going to happen with El Masra though, because that is a fantastic battle royale and a fantastic extraction shooter map. I hope they keep that in rotation, but we will see. But nonetheless, I'm just going to be happy if they update DMZ at all. Another reason I think DMZ will return is because Delta Force Hawk Ops is coming out soon, which is a Battlefield clone. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm extremely excited about this game and they also have what looks like an amazing extraction shooter mode in the game remember guys cod does not like competition because what does competition do it funnels money away from them delta force hawk ops looks shockingly like call of duty in fact i heard a rumor that most of their animations and stuff they ripped off from call of duty so i don't think cod wants to be in competition with a delta force hawk ops that is definitely reason number two. And reason number three, which is probably the most important reason for Activision, is DMZ bundles made Activision a lot, a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. All the pay to win bundles, the quote unquote pay to win, because I believe pay to win is somewhat illegal. So it was like the low key pay to win that Call of Duty does, you know, like reticle changes. And hey, you buy this operator and you get one extra operator slot that has a UAV or has a self revive. Like I'm telling you guys, Activision made so much goddamn money from DMZ. I would actually argue that during Warzone 2's life cycle, I would imagine the majority of the bundles sold were because of DMZ. Now, a lot of people say, well, DMZ is dead. It's not popular at all. That's totally untrue. You could look at any YouTuber that's making DMZ content and I guarantee you they're getting 
insane views compared to open mouth thumbnail. Oh my God, I dropped 55 kills on Rebirth Island. <gasps> you know, like those guys are, yeah, they're getting decent views. But if you look at people who are making DMZ videos, man, they're getting like double, triple, quadruple the views of regular Warzone. The new Warzone we have right now. DMZ is still extremely popular. I play it all the time. Lobbies fill up instantly. Content on YouTube is great. And there is a huge portion of the community that loves Warzone DMZ, including myself. So I honestly believe, guys, I honestly believe that Warzone 4 4.0 will bring back DMZ and we're going to have regular Warzone Battle Royale and Resurgence, multiplayer in Black Ops 6 and Warzone DMZ not in its beta. But that's the video for today, guys. I want to know what you think down below. Do you think it's coming back? The main thing that got it for me was Pestily, that Escape from Tarkov streamer getting that letter. That's what solidified it in my head. I always thought they would bring it back soon and I was under the assumption that they were going to bring it back with Infinity Ward's new game. But since they sent that letter to Pestily, there's just no other explanation than they're trying to tease DMZ returning. But like I said, guys, I would love to know your thoughts and feelings down below. Do you think Warzone DMZ will return with the Black Ops 6 integration? But that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Till next time, start out.